Hey guys, welcome back to the Happy Power channel. Today we have for you guys an absolutely insane video full of Fortnite leaks, but we also have for you guys an announcement, so stay tuned for that at some point in today's video. Hopping directly into it, we have for you guys some great news coming directly from uh, ARS Technica, who of course is covering, uh, well, some news about Tim Sweeney, the Epic Games CEO, and of course the whole lawsuit revolving around Apple versus Epic Games. Uh, so they said dozens of states side with Epic Games and Apple's App Store appeal. All right, so there you guys have it. It looks like lots of people are now starting to back Tim Sweeney and most notably tons of US states. So we could be seeing, essentially speaking, iOS officially come back, not only on GeForce Now, but regular uh, Fortnite iOS. So yeah, crazy stuff overall. We also have for you guys, Fortnite last night once again went down for about six to seven hours. So they said, uh, we are investigating login and matchmaking issues in Fortnite. We will update you when the issue is resolved. And that was at 11.45 p.m. Uh, EST on January 27th. And it came back online about six hours ago. So yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's quite a long time. So not quite sure what's going on with the Epic Games servers. But as we speculated in the past, I strongly believe that the game is just simply that popular. And they haven't really upgraded their servers like they did back in 2018 or 2019. So yeah, pretty crazy stuff overall. Epic Games is definitely doing something right. Uh, we also have for you guys a little weird thing from Hypeback. So I said, I don't know uh, if this was mentioned previously, but Epic is working on it. A water device for a creative mode. It was added to the devices list in 19.10, but doesn't exist in the files at the moment, so it won't show up. So that's actually pretty weird. We're not quite sure what this water device will be, but supposedly it could be for uh, finally some great water mechanics for Fortnite creative mode. So definitely stay tuned for that. And by the way, guys, the quick announcement, uh, Intel actually sent me a crazy package, which is actually sitting right there, which you guys cannot see. It's just out of frame, but... It is worth a lot of money. So we have for you guys a crazy unboxing very, very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. This stuff is actually currently unreleased. Into the next topic, it looks like the brand new crew pack was just decrypted today. And they also posted the trailer. So here's both of those in the background video. So I must say it's not that bad of a crew pack, but I honestly think the best part of the crew pack is definitely the back blink. It just looks absolutely fantastic, but leave your thoughts down below. Uh, we also have for you guys a pretty crazy finding in today's video. So Fortnite Assistant has been absolutely on top of this stuff, and he just said this today, and he followed it with two other tweets, so stay tuned. Uh, if you're interested, here's all the audio effects currently played at the Devourer Caddis Skeleton Landmark. Caddis Ambient Loop 1, uh, Caddis Ambient Loop 2, and Caddis Creek 1 through 6. More info about Caddis, etc., in the next post. And of course, here's the first part.
All right, so now on to the more important part, which is actually freaking insane, man. These new Cata Sound files are not being used at the current skeleton. They have a different POI name called Caddis Cave, whereas the skeleton is Caddis Point of Interest. So it looks like these will be in fact be used at Covert Caverns Point of Interest and the IO are remaking him in some way. So yeah, pause. Caddis is returning, aka the Devourer 2.0 will be returning with inside the Covert Cabin Point of Interest. So at some point inside that cave, we'll be seeing essentially a boss uh, Caddis. Yeah, here's the sound effects for that actual cave and Brandy Point of Interest. All right, so there you guys have it. Absolutely great theory coming directly from Fortnite Assist. And I must say, I think that I completely agree with this. I definitely believe that there's going to be a Devourer 2.0. And I think it's going to be further down in the cave that we can currently go so far. And at some point before the end of the season, we're going to be seeing a brand new boss revolving around Devourer. We also have for you guys from Joe Proker, I believe, of the Dark. He said, uh, of the marketing tie-ins that Fortnite taps into, I'm really disappointed there's no Peacemaker skin just yet. Peacemaker and Vigilante combos. Uh, Eagle League Glider, it'll be perfect. James Gunn, make it so. And James Gunn said, that is up to Donald Mustard. And Donald Mustard said, all right, most of these, you're right. They could probably go into Fortnite, but I would never put Ariana Grande in there. She looks too innocent. At John Cena with a winky face. So they are definitely hyping up the upcoming Peacemaker skin. So I think that's definitely confirmed that the Peacemaker skin is definitely coming soon. Now to kind of add to this, we also have for you guys an Easter egg in the Peacemaker series. If you watch the new Peacemaker episode number two, hidden Fortnite messages like this are filled with slurp juice. Just watch the episode. So yeah, it actually says a Peacemaker slurp vid. So yeah, there's definitely references to Fortnite inside the Peacemaker series. So I think it's definitely confirmed. And not to mention, we also have for you guys, I forgot to mention the Peacemaker spray that existed before is still inside the files. So that is definitely the case, and I definitely speculate that, yeah, we'll be seeing Peacemaker very, very soon. So great work to all the leakers in today's video. Finally speaking, from Fortnite Competitive, do you have a question you have been burning to ask a Fortnite Pro player ahead of this season's FNCS? We'll be asking some of your top players' questions that you want answered from them. Drop a question below, and your tweet might appear in one of our videos. Now, in true Fortnite fashion, Man, our community is very toxic and very crazy. So the top tweet right now in this actual reply is actually a troll to Booga. I have a question for Booga. What was his inspiration for the famous quote at World Cup? Never give up. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty funny stuff overall. Uh, honestly, if you actually read through this entire thread, there is some friendly stuff and not so friendly stuff. So that is all we have for you guys for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope to see you guys in the next upcoming video. And as always, stay happy, my friends.